A few days ago my mother and her dog visited us um, and after they left we found uh, a tick running around on our living room floor, probably from the dog. And of course the first thing that you have to do when you see a tick is, is you gotta contain it because those guys carry diseases. And well, I put, we put them into a plastic container for a few days, apparently it died because it stopped moving. And so that's basically where we're right now and it's gonna be now observed under the microscope and as a matter of fact I'm making a permanent mount now. So I'm using a drop of a U-Pearl mounting medium uh, and I put the tick into this drop. I added another drop of U-Pearl on top and then I added the cover glass and uh, there was a little air bubble. It luckily moved to the side after a few seconds and after a few minutes. And that's basically where we are right now. The U-Pearl mounting medium takes a couple of weeks to dry, around six weeks. Uh, but it is still possible to observe the tick right away. So let's have a look. So may I present the tick. It is a tick. Uh, eight legs, very clear um, the shape of them as well. So that is uh, basically how it looks like on the bright field. Uh, using my 4x objective, I'm going to now increase the magnification a bit. So here we go. I have to refocus. Let's center it first. So let's refocus a little bit. Yeah, it's the head part over here. And I might have to close the condenser a little bit if this is possible. Ah, that is not, that's not so easily possible. I'll close the Köhler diaphragm, the field diaphragm that is. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, even though the tick uh, is quite uh, dark, uh, you're still able to see uh, through the body. That's uh, quite nice. Normally, you, uh, with uh, insects and spiders, uh, of course, a tick is not an insect. It belongs uh, to the to the spiders. It's an arthropod, and they have a chitin exoskeleton. And you're able to uh, to bleach that by putting the animal into lactic acid. Now, I didn't do that. Um, and that's uh, why the body still uh, appears to be relatively dark, but uh, better than I expected. I'm, I want to actually uh, go in yet a higher mag. Actually, I have to use the camera here to zoom in a little more. So that is again the head part. Now I don't know how it's called this uh, thing, where the the, the tick actually uses uh, to bite uh, through the skin. Is it called the proboscis? Maybe I don't know. In any case, in butterflies, it's called like that. I don't know about ticks. So let's have a look here, further magnification. There's a very clear sawtooth structure that you see. Yeah, so now when I focus all the way through it, I have to reduce the light a little bit maybe. Yeah, now that's better. Okay, so you can see the sawtooth uh, structure of the of this part that uh, the tick uses uh, to bite uh, through the skin to suck blood. Very nice, uh, also uh, very well also visible are the little hair that uh, are on the surface of the tick. And yeah, let's have a look at the end, the feet. Uh, it's not very, not a lot of information here. And. I wonder what this, what this is. Yeah, you, you can see by using the fine, fo fine focus knob, you can actually focus uh, through the body, and then you can see the different, look into the different depths um, of the body of the tick. It's actually quite, uh, works quite well. Um, something I didn't say yet, or maybe already did, um, you have to be a little bit careful uh, because this permanent mount has not completely dried yet. It takes a couple of weeks, around six weeks, for the Uperol to completely dry. Uperol, that is the, the mounting medium that I like to use here. It has the advantage that it does not uh, require any uh, working with any hazardous substances, no hazardous solvents are involved. So that is... We're going ahead again here. You can, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm now going to switch over to dark field. So I'm going to go down to the to the, the lower magnification again over here. And I'm gonna switch over to dark field. So I have to exchange. And you have to exchange, take off the filter and insert the 
take off the con condenser door into the filter. So now let's see if this works. So that's a dark field. I need to, now I need to increase the light a little bit. Okay, so you see that you have a totally different uh, view now. Now the object appears bright on dark background and all those white spots that you see over here, well that's dust. So you see how sensitive dust dark field is in relation to dust. But now you can also see much better the place where the legs connect to the body. So let's go up a higher, once one higher. And so that's this one over here. And again the head. Yeah, okay, um, I think, uh, yeah, that's it. I just want to tell you the tick was already dead. Okay, I don't want to have any problems with any ethical issues. So the tick was already dead and actually to be very honest, I mean, those guys carry diseases. If uh, they're not dead, it's actually a good idea to kill them because you, uh, you do not want to be bitten by them. Yeah. They, have, they carry viruses, uh, like for example tick-borne encephalitis, uh, they carry borreliosis, um, Lyme disease, it's, all of this stuff is possible. And that's actually quite nice here, this one over here, where you can actually see the surface of the body over here. Okay, well uh, I'm gonna call it quits for right now, I wish you, wish you a nice day, all the best, bye.